Oh, you're gonna cut this thing? You're gonna cut this thing together? My love must be a kind of blind love. And action up. Do you like to um, say anything to be in the wedding? Not really. I was actually, I was. Opa! The thing is, I was just, um, I was actually in Galway for something else, for the, the Barrows. Um, so it's just, I mean, it's just luck. Luck, really, that I was here. But, uh, I mean, I didn't have my hand, especially for Are the stars I don't know if this class. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to my bridesmaids. Thank you um, to Buddy and to John. Thank you very much. Peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good afternoon, dear friends, on this special day. I would like to welcome Gillian and Brian, father and mother of Robin. Barnaby. What? Barnaby. Who is it? Yeah, I'd say you know, it was probably ready before I was, uh, really by a long way, and uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me why did it take me so long. Um, it's not just today, it's a commitment that goes from a long way back. You know, I've had to make that choice. You know, it's not just then you have to decide, you know, which way you're going to go. Are you going to go, you know, with your wife? Are you going to leave and you're going to say goodbye, you know? But I've already made several times that choice to, to stick with her. That's good to know. <laughs> you're about celebrate this sacrament. Have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? Very good. Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your life? We will. Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? We are. I invite you then to declare before God, before your families and his church, your consent to become husband and wife, face each other now and join hands. Barnaby, do you take Una as your wife for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health all the days of your life? Una, do you take Barnaby as your husband for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health all the days of your life. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent you have given and enrich you with his blessings. That's marriage now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now you can kiss each other. 
<laughs> so the other thing that I wanted to talk about is just like why would I get married? And the answer for me is because <laughs> that I found Una, and you know sometimes uh, you feel numb. Sometimes you know life can make you feel numb. When Joe died, that just my heart was very went from very open to very closed, and um, sorry. And uh, it's just a kind of analogy of having a great life and having a noisy life, and then just kind of putting the pair of earplugs in, and just you know how that just gets quieter and quieter and quieter, and you just kind of like live with this kind of low rumble of sound that is just your life. And um, when I met Una at that point, um, I just began to feel happy again. And um, <laughs> I'm so thankful for that, that there's a time when I can feel, rather than being numb to the world, I can feel connected. And um, that's a great feeling. And uh, this is, you know, this is what I'm talking about, is why I'm getting married today. And, uh, <laughs> it's just because she's the most amazing person and <laughs> love you so much. <laughs>